The Tupolev Tu-95, widely known by its NATO codename BEAR, stands as one of the most extraordinary and enduring aircraft in military aviation history. This four-engine turboprop bomber, which was developed during the Cold War's peak, became a symbol of the strategic reach of the Soviet Union and later Russia. It was capable of transporting nuclear or conventional payloads over intercontinental distances. Embracing both technological innovation and raw endurance, its distinctive silhouette is propelled by enormous contra-rotating propellers. The Tu-95 remains the foundation of Russia's long-range aviation fleet, despite its initial flight in 1952. Today, the Tu-95 MSM program has undergone a comprehensive modernization that has transformed this legendary aircraft into a formidable 21st century platform. This platform is equipped with advanced avionics, precision-guided cruise missiles, and upgraded propulsion systems, ensuring its relevance well into the 2040s and beyond. In the 2010s, Russia began efforts to modernize its long-range strategic missile carriers, primarily the Tu-160 and Tu-95. It was evident that many Soviet-era aircraft, despite having undergone numerous overhauls, necessitated more extensive modernization to remain combat-ready and capable of deploying modern weaponry. The restoration of lost technological capabilities was one of the most notable projects. For example, the Kazan Aviation Plant reinstated the vacuum welding and heat treatment of titanium components, which had been previously discontinued following the collapse of the USSR. Additionally, the production of distinctive onboard systems and aircraft fuselage assemblies was resumed. The initial modernization package was developed in 2009 with the official approval of the 295MS to 295MSM upgrade program. The program expanded as new systems and production capacities were introduced over time. The 295MS to 295MSM modernization includes critical components such as avionics, power plant, airframe, weapons complex, control systems, and defensive measures. Modernized 295MSM bombers feature new navigation and computing systems, updated cockpit displays, and upgraded communication and mission control systems. The aircraft is replacing the Obzor MS radar system with the more sophisticated Novella HB1 Neuro21 radar. The upgrade comprises new AV-60T propellers and modernized NK-12 MPM engines, which increase reliability, efficiency, and potentially flight range and payload capacity. This is a significant technical upgrade to the aircraft's propulsion system. To accommodate new underwing pylons and larger cargoes, structural reinforcements have been implemented in the fuselage and wings. The bomber can now carry a higher number of missiles, due to the addition of four additional weapon hardpoints under the wings in the MSM version. The most significant enhancement is the entirely new weapons complex. KH-101 and KH-102 air-launched cruise missiles can now be deployed by modernized 295 MSM bombers. The installation of new pylons and the reinforcement of its structure have significantly increased the aircraft's total missile capacity. Additionally, the modernization enhances the capabilities of optical and electronic reconnaissance, electronic warfare systems, and defensive countermeasures. These enhancements increase survivability and mission flexibility. The Russian Aerospace Forces operate approximately 62 95MS bombers of varying configurations as of 2023, 2024. A number of them have already been converted to the MSM standard, while others are currently undergoing repairs or are in older configurations. By the mid-2020s, it is expected that up to 35 aircraft will have been converted to the Tu-95 MSM variant. New batches of upgraded Tu-95 MS bombers have been officially transferred to the VKS in recent years following overhaul and modernization. Reports indicate that at least five new aircraft were placed into service in a single delivery. Modernization prolongs a number of critical aspects of the bomber's service life. The restoration of industrial capacity, including the production of airframe assemblies and titanium welding, 
guarantees a consistent supply of replacement parts. New avionics and propulsion systems have been developed to reduce mechanical strain and extend the operational lifespan of aircraft. Most importantly, the integration of contemporary cruise missiles, such as the KH-101, enables the bombers to strike targets at significantly greater distances and with greater precision, all while remaining outside most enemy air defenses. Because of this, the aircraft remains highly relevant to contemporary conflicts. The Tu-95 MSM can now function as a component of Russia's network-centric warfare infrastructure thanks to its enhanced communication, navigation, and targeting systems. This enhancement improves its ability to coordinate with other aircraft and missile systems. Around 2009, the Tu-95 MS modernization program was initiated. In the late 2010s, the MSM variant's initial prototypes underwent flight testing and subsequent years saw incremental progress. Several MSM aircraft had completed testing with additional underwing pylons by 2023 and were declared operationally ready. It has been reported that 295 MSM bombers have already engaged in live missions utilizing KH-101 cruise missiles in 2024. By 2035, the Russian Aerospace Forces are anticipated to operate approximately 45 Tu-95 bombers, the majority of which will be in the modernized MSM configuration. Their service life is anticipated to extend until at least 2040 and possibly beyond if regular maintenance and updates are maintained. The 295 MSM exemplifies the effectiveness of the modernization program. It boasts a redesigned weapons complex capable of deploying KH-101 and KH-102 missiles, updated avionics, digital flight control systems, and reinforced wings. Additionally, it is equipped with contemporary NK-12 MPM engines. The aircraft's armament has been greatly improved by the ability to transport up to four additional missiles beneath its wings. Radar and electro-optical systems enhance detection, targeting, and reconnaissance capabilities. The implementation of new electronic warfare and defense systems further improves survivability in contested airspace. Challenges persist, regardless of the sizable improvements. Even with reinforcement, metal fatigue and structural aging remain persistent concerns in the 295's fundamental airframe design, which dates back to the 1950s. Time and investment are necessary to restore lost industrial technologies including titanium vacuum welding and precision machining. Furthermore, although modernization improves armaments and sensors, the overall effectiveness of the system remains dependent upon its integration with communication networks, navigation systems, and reconnaissance satellites. The bomber's maximum potential cannot be realized without the concurrent modernization of these systems. Additionally, the Tu-95 MSM is more susceptible to sophisticated air defense systems than newer generation bombers due to its lack of stealth characteristics. However, this limitation is mitigated by its capacity to launch long-range missiles from a distance of thousands of kilometers. In conclusion, the modernization of Russia's strategic aviation, particularly the Tu-95 MS, to 295 MSM and 2160 to 2160 m programs is a fundamental component of the nation's defense policy. Russia is not just conserving its old bombers, it is building new long-range strike platforms through the restoration of manufacturing capabilities and the upgrading of engines, avionics, and weapon systems. These upgraded aircraft are capable of launching precision-guided missiles over extensive distances incorporating into Russia's expanding network of strategic deterrence. The Tu-95 MSM fleet will continue to be a critical component of Russia's strategic air power for decades to come, as their service life has been extended to at least the 2040s, and modernization processes continue at a consistent tempo. If you find this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take our membership to encourage us.